This is the body of the tracer, the top of the tracer where you'll be making your traces, and the bottom of your tracer where you'll be loading all of your tubes. The bottom is a loose fit on purpose for ease of loading, and the top is a tight fit to guarantee a precise trace. When setting the pins, you want the pin length to be as short as possible, or you could easily overshoot. In order to prevent this, the best technique is to slowly jiggle the tool down into place and keeping a close eye of the bottom pins. When setting at a very shallow angle, preset the pins as shown. Then, once you're ready to make your trace, very gently push the pins into position, one pin at a time. Now you're ready to trace. Load the tool, bottom end first. The bottom end is a loose fit to make it easy to load the pipe or tube. Now trace it out. As shown here, the button and the laser are on the same side. Use an extension and a 13 millimeter or half inch deep socket. The extension and the socket are used to push the laser out of the tracing tool. You do not want to push on the laser. Make sure that the laser is pointing out the bottom of the tool. And after you're done making your trace, push the laser out. The center line marking tool marks from one inch to two inch in eighth inch increments. Use a half inch spacer to mark center from two to three inches and a one inch spacer to mark center from three to four.